Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honotrak and we are playing Stellaris with the new DLC Utopia. We're playing on insane difficulty, um, we're going tall, uh, no sectors whatsoever. Um, and we're playing as the Architects Foundation, a race of cyborgs. Um, we've now started to change our population, we've taken the first step towards our ascension. We've also started to build not only one but two orbital habitats. The first orbital habitat is in the Isis system. I'm settling these systems, if you have a look at the number behind the system you see the amount of stellar bodies that are in there. RW means a ring world, so these are all systems with um, less than five planets in there um, because the amount of stellar bodies is actually pretty important if you want to go for orbital habitats. Um, I start that in here because you, you can stick one orbital habitat uh, next to each of these bodies so having a lot of planets in there makes this a very valuable system. We're getting we're two-thirds finished with our first habitat and we're already starting a second one in the ASMIC system. I just sent the construction ship over there um, my plan is to... Oh, we've encountered some form of alien vessel in the Forge system. Mem aliens. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to research these guys. Although, actually, um, it's going to give me more influence now. And research is now rather cheap. Let's just have a look. Let's go for it. I mean, actually, I can knock these out in a month now. Incoming transmission. Um, we have a diplomatic offer. They want to give us just some minerals for Pythorin dust. For 10 years. I'm not using all of it. It's not a great... Um, it's not a great thing. I wonder if we can't just go for another trading thing there. Juven Associated Worlds. Hello. How about a trade where I give you some Pythorin dust, which you really want. Yeah, you don't want a research agreement. They're still neutral. Um, I wouldn't mind getting some energy credits, actually. You're not going for monthly, but... Just like that. Yeah, I can pimp out um, my Pythorin dust for 1,000 energy credits for 30 years. I'm not using them. I mean, 30 years might be a bit much, but let's go for it. We're going to decline this one. We're going to see if they take the other one. Okay, and uh, we found their language. We have established communications with the Mishar block. Hello. Hegemonic Imperialists, perfect. Let us clasp extremities and be friends. They're down here. Okay, so they're a little bit away. That's good. That's good. I like it. Um, we've got more construction ships hanging out over there. Um, Jew and Associated Worlds are happy they took that deal. Because now we have proper amount of energy credits again. Um, how about... I mean, these guys are weary. These guys are weary. Bright materialists. I really would like to get on their good side. They are our neighbors. I don't want them to rival us. Yeah, they're not going to go for that. If we just go for 10 years of this and an instant transfer, I don't think that's going to help our trust. And we're, we're giving away our research for real cheap. How much Angus Vapor do I have? A lot. Hmm, how much are you willing to pay? Actually, we should go for minerals in that case. No, um, instant transfer. Build more habitats then. Okay, that's your sweet spot. Okay, go for it. Do it. Okay. They've accepted that. Um, let's trade for their minerals. So if I were to give you Angus Vapor for 30 years, how many minerals would you give me? Hmm. Not quite as many. But still useful to me. I want to get my habitats up rather quickly. Like this. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, we still got two. Hello, thank you. Anyone that we like, anyone that we want to trade with. These guys are um, the spiritualistic space cat assholes. Um, it's actually sad, I love cats, <laughs> but these guys are not very nice. Um, xenophobia, but enlightened pacifists. Mm, let's see what what happens. Yeah, no, no research agreement. What about the Angus Vapor, though? Man, they don't value that quite as highly, and they're only at 50% because they're xenophobic isolationists. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no trading with you. Um, the great old ones I'm not gonna try. What these guys? They're just neutral, which, um, yeah, that's, that's still okay. Angus Vapor. 30 years. Mm, 800, 830, that's not a lot, that's not a lot, I mean it would allow me to go for one more thing, but I'd rather a nation that I really trust has that, um, research, yeah, we already have that research agreement with these guys, Angus Vapor, 30 years, no, no, okay, shame, shame, you could have profited from that, what about these guys, they're unfriendly, they're likely to go after me once I get out of the um, get out of the thing. I already traded you the Angus Vapor, didn't I? Um, Angus Vapor. Yeah, they already have that. Maybe the Ixadar would be interested in doing this. Um, hello, they're overwhelming. I've never been friendly with these guys. It's actually kind of an interesting experience here. Yeah, no, they don't want it. They don't want it. Maybe you guys are willing to do it. Hello, they're cordial. Oh yes, <laughs> minerals. Yeah, no, they. Yeah, I guess they're in the war, so they can't really give that away. How about a research agreement, though? Do we have one? We don't. Research. Hmm. They're giving some. I'm giving you a lot, but. Hmm. What are we gonna do? What are we going to do? I'm not going to transfer any systems. 27 years is for some reason <clears throat> neutral to them. How many minerals do I have to give you? Okay, yeah, not a lot. Not a lot. To make that happen. Because I don't... I do want to make my faction happy. My materialist faction. Okay, 30. Is what you want. Okay, cool. Do it. Construction complete. Um, so the Admirals have accepted that. Or did they? Yeah, okay, fine. Um, okay, I guess we could trade with these guys maybe. They're neutral. How, what was, what did you say to some Angus Vapor? They're 80% for it. Yeah, they're actually paying the most. Okay, I mean, it's 30 years, but still. I only need one of them, so. Yeah, they're happy that they got that. And that helps me quite a bit. I'll be able to build another habitat, like right now. Trade deal. You don't think much of us, do you? What? You, you're not willing to do that? No, come on. <laughs> what happened to you? I thought you, I thought you liked the deal. Come on. Guess they spent their minerals for something stupid. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't push them too much. Let's just go for this. Come on, dude. Yes. Okay, they did it now. Um, Etic Monolithic, um, Roshkon 3A is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall center tafts carved from some mineral not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined spacefaring race. The monolith's flowing lines deftly chart a history so fantastical it must surely be fictional, surely. Uh, make digital reproductions of the monoliths widely available. Or just gain a flat amount of research um, engineering. I actually don't need that. 
Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the second one and hope for some influence. <clears throat> okay, so next month we'll be able to build another habitat. A new faction has recently been gaining traction in the internal political landscape. Led by Admiral Zidlaw, they call themselves the Xeno Reform Forum. They have been pushing hard for friendly relations with alien species. Oh, we got ourselves some Xeno... Some Xeno files. Um, I guess I'm fine with having that faction. Indirect Xenology. Leg legislating a passive study stance on native interference will please Xeno Reform. No, I can't do that. All refugees are welcome. They like that. Enclaves Incorporated. Mm-hmm. Okay. Foreign ties. Having diplomatic ties with all of our immediate neighbors will please them. No purge policy. Multicultural society. Hosting at least four unique species within our empire will please them. We have, they have only six people, but... I mean, I'd rather have them than the militarists. Can I suppress them? What does that cost? Uh, monthly influence one. I'd rather see that um, that cost scale with the size of the faction. But oh well. I guess I guess it's maybe because I've been dealing so much with alien species. I'm not gonna embrace the xenophiles. But interestingly enough, if you are a fanatic pacifist and you embrace um, militarist ethics, then you can't have the, the pacifist ethics, right? So you lose them and you become a militaristic um, then your second uh, ethics that you took in the beginning and then a xenophile empire. So the pacifistic um, ethics changes into xenophile, which is interesting. Okay, the annotate, annotated reproductions of the monolithic imagery found on Roshan prove immensely popular in the Architects Foundation. Many citizens state that the fantastical annals have completely changed how they feel about aliens. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> if I had known that, it would be that. I think I had that once, but I've never taken that, taken that option after that one. And now I know why. It's not bad having the Xenophiles, but... Really? Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and... Yeah, I think this is a good spot, because that'll bring these into our... In, into our area. Um, there's nothing on this planet, and I think I'd rather start with a thing that, that has nothing on it. Because that'll ensure un, uninterrupted flow of resources. So let's go ahead, build the mega structure, build the habit, habitat around that place. Chop, chop. I've uh, got another construction ship. There's still stuff to do down here, so please, um, more mining stations. We're losing energy credits, but other than that, we're doing fairly well. So I'm going to go up to fast again. Go for it. System survey complete. Alien spe specimen procurement. The director of the Museum of Exobiology has issued a request for the procurement of several alien live alien specimens. These creatures were spotted on surveyed habitable worlds, but they are difficult to capture. It would require the full resource of a science ship for a lengthy period of time. Yes, we will gather those those guys. System survey complete. Um, where are you? You in here? There's still stuff to do. Go and build the research station, please. Incoming transmission. Oh, they want to trade star charts. No, sorry, it's not a thing. We're not going to do that. Construction complete. I don't want their star shots. I'm very willing to trade mine, actually. How about we do that? I can't do that for some reason. I guess because I'm in a... In a vessel ship? Hmm. Research complete. Probably. Done with the reactive formations. That's good. Um, let's just knock that out. I mean, Fleet Academy is nice. Fire rate, chance to hit, tracking for all the ships that we built there. It's pretty good. Mm, actually, let's let's go for it. Let's go for, for it. We can still go for the leader lifespan. I think it's fine. Um, system survey complete. You're not doing anything. We actually got to send you into the next system that I plan to settle. So the tenor systems are what we want. Um, but tenor systems that expand our borders, ideally... 
which is a problem. I want to get rid of that uh, frontier outpost if I can at all. So something in this area might be good. We don't really have to do anything down here because we're going to settle those planets pretty soon. It's not a problem. Yeah, I think we've got to go for the for the Kogan system, maybe. Anything else that is big that we want? We've got a 9 over here. We're already going for the Asmic system, so that's fine. Could go for the Janam. Yeah, we have a we have an outpost in the Janam, uh, next to the Janam in Yelbarasta. Actually, we could just go for Yelbarasta. Just uh, replace like for like. That would maybe not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, um... Oh, yeah. Perfect. Build a mega structure over here. Oh, yeah, we can't. But, um... We can enter the orbit of that planet already. Um, and then build it once we once we have the resources. Once all our science ships are busy building habitats, I'm actually going to go ahead and, and build complete. up our fleet. I think that is something that has to happen. At some point. Xenophile pops. <clears throat> Should have known. Should have known better. I had that event once. System survey complete. Polgaro system is done. Yeah, not a lot happening currently. Oh, design's good. Do we have anything better? No. Plasma accelerators have already been changed everywhere, so that's a thing. I wouldn't mind getting the next level of the disruptors actually. And we've got an alien mural in uh, Zomburuk Situation log and the Rinder system. Okay. Um, control, shift, go for that research project before you go for the other stuff. Please. And we're done with the deep core mining. Good. I take it. Yeah, I could actually go for the advanced railgun. I'm so hoping for the mega engineering thing. I doubt that that will actually show up. Let's knock the Ceramo metal um, arm out. That's good. How's first stone looking? Yeah, fine. System survey complete. Fine, I don't want to spend the minerals to do anything here. As long as that pop is not fully grown, I don't really need to do anything. Well, let's upgrade this one for now. Research complete. Um, interstellar fleet traditions, good. Okay, in the grand fleet and all. Ship upgrade cost reduction. Yeah, why not? We're gonna have a lot of upgrading to do. Um, looking forward to getting the sentient combat simulation, um, sentient combat AI. That's gonna be really good. Done with the research station over here. So, oh, you have nothing else to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. About the mining stations, please. System survey complete. System was unable complete. to build a mining station in Othana. Resources have been refunded. I guess I doubled that um, thing. Research they have complete. a non-aggression pact. That's fine. Um, we got the Ceramo metal armor. Holy cow, that was fast. Um, Plastil armor. We're not using a lot of armor, so I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Let's go for the engineering facility. Um, let's just get more stuff. Unable to build a mining station. That's fine. Live with it. Can't have that all the time. Now, um, yes, I think leader lifespan is the best thing here. I don't need the unrest reduction. That's just not a problem. Let's go for the lifespan, and then maybe we're just going to adopt the supremacy thing. Although it would be kind of nice to unlock the next slot, but as long as we don't have the Mega Engineering, there's nothing that complete. we want for that slot. Which is fine, I guess. We're producing a lot of this a lot of this stuff. And actually, now that I come to think of it, I do have to upgrade this. <laughs> yeah, for the for the um auto-curating vault. Yeah, I'm a I'm a fool, I forgot. <laughs> Alright then. Don't worry. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. Up System survey complete. Upgrade Special some of the things. Complete. Okay, this is intriguing. We have managed to translate the alien mural. There's a lot of research to be had now. Good. Very good. I actually gotta send a construction ship, an idle one, over there and get that research. Research complete. 
Mm, refit standards are done. Oh, well, I mean, terraforming will become no longer a real thing for us because we'll be synthetics that can settle every planet. We just don't care about habitability, I don't think. So, um, but I could, I could knock it out. Just be done with it. Yeah, well, why not? It's fine. We're producing a lot of food, so um, our growth, our pop growth, should actually be pretty high. Yeah, we got a pop down here. So, what are we gonna do? Put down another hydroponics farm. You're unable to build the mining station. System survey complete. Entered into a defensive pact. Why? What is? What is your problem, dude? Oh, you started the you started the project. Okay. Uh, oh no 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 no! These guys are in a defensive pack now. I'm hosed, I guess. Well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> when is my orbital habitat gonna be done? It is done. Yes, I would have expected a message of some form or fashion that tells me hey sir your orbital habitat has been completed or something like that instead of just not saying anything i feel kind of used now <laughs> hmm yeah we gotta build actually that that designation is not correct that designation is not correct one two three four five six but one is a native planet so that's no longer six, that's five plus one. Gotta show that correctly. It's actually just five. It's actually just five and not five plus one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to the system, I think. It's fine. Oh, because I have that system over here as well. Right, so what am I gonna do? Um I think I should settle that now. I would have liked to knock one more tradition out, but I think it's time System that we build a um, colony ship. I'm just going to go for a private colony ship, even though we don't have a lot of income in that area. Um, System that's survey that's about to change pretty soon. Um, Research complete. Okay, you're 27% built. We're done with the terrestrial sculpting. Man, we're racing through these techs. Um, let's go for the leader lifespan now. Why not? Um, we've got a construction ship down here, which is unhappy because it couldn't build anything. Build the mining station. What about you in the Yell Barasta system? Yeah, you're waiting for something to do. You're waiting for something to do, which means I can actually send you over here, build a research station. That's fine. Ancient survey marker. A small short range transmitter has been located on the surface of Rigel 1. It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals. Perfect. Perfect. Construction complete. Where is it? Rigel? Rigel seven. Well, actually, yeah. I mean, you you do get the resource if you build an orbital habitat above it. Um. Then uh, that resource will show up on one of the tiles. System survey complete. What's what's going on over here? How did that war end? Construction complete. <laughs> So these guys actually took um, two planets off these guys. <laughs> Crazy. System survey complete. Yeah, these guys are pacifists. I could actually just try to go for a research thing with these guys as well. Uh, are you willing to... No, no minerals. Maybe energy. Yeah, 30 years, dude. 30 years. Yeah, they don't have that much. Let's go for this. They're not gonna give us a lot of research, but it's gonna make our it's gonna make our people happy. And we're done with System the super survey. solid materials. Oh yeah, we could go for the synths now and unlock the artificial intelligence and stuff. We need that for our the second level of our ascension. It's very expensive. But synths are really good, actually. Because <laughs> they get basically a bonus to everything. They don't use as much consumer goods. They have a habitability for everything. Um, it does fit. 
the thing is, we'll be busy pretty long going for this. I mean, we have more stored than this thing costs, though. So, yeah, let's just go for it. Let's unlock them. Let's upgrade our guys to full synths. Why not? Um, some rivalries have happened. Hegemony of Panaxla Primer has declared Pogo on their rival. Hegemony of Panaxla Primer. These guys, okay. System yeah. survey complete. Makes sense. And and it's mutual. Okay. Find this offer acceptable. Should actually make my faction happy now. Hmm, a National Investment Board is happy. Because we have five strategic resources. Oh, they want ten now. Um, not sure if I can do that, but oh well. Terraforming liquids, terraforming gases. Yeah, we've got a lot of them. Nice. Very nice. Could try to pimp those resources out, but it's not really necessary. Where's my colony ship? Come on. I want to colonize my first habitat. God damn it. You're already building 38%. Which is fine. Oh. Yeah, right. No, I can't build over here. So, chop, chop. Go for it. Go for it. Anything else? Construction ship is waiting down here. Oh, you're done with all the resources. Uh, what are you doing? You're building a mining station, which means that the research station over here is still viable. Do we have more research somewhere around here? I think there was a little bit of engineering research. No, there was System some mining. A mining complete. opportunity was down there. That's fine, though. Um, yeah, let's go to fast speed again. Oh, yeah, we've got our colony ship. Okay, so watch the great moment. Um, so what you do is just you, you go to colonize your orbital habitat. What? I built those with droids? Aw, oh, screw me. No, that's not what I wanted. At all. Crap. Crap. What? Yes, please. Let me select my own guys. I wonder why the private colony ship automatically builds the droids. That must be a bug. That was some some weird behavior. Um, I'm actually not sure if I want to use this ship right now. I mean, I guess it might make sense to actually go down and uh, colonize this planet. Just to get rid of the, of the outpost that we have over there. Because then I could colonize this place and we probably could get rid of the of the outpost over here. I think I will. I think I will. We're gonna use a lot of um a lot of minerals, so mm, that's a really good planet actually. A lot of stuff on there. A lot of stuff. But yeah, I guess that's just how it goes. We're gonna have full mineral production down there. Um, that's going to be second synthetic stone. Go for it. Chop, chop. Uh, we're done with the vitality boosters. Good. Um, I could actually use some coal sector systems now because we're about to start colonizing massively. Spooksulek societal shift. Most of the Spooksulek realms on fruitful endeavor are abandoning their warlike ways. It looks like the beginning of a new era of peace on the planet. That will thank us one day. Nice. So we actually managed to change these guys to... Well, we got one pacifist. Okay. We still got two authoritarians, but... I guess that's fine. Um, right. So I gotta wait um, until we get another colony ship built. I don't want to build the orbital um, things with with robots. It just doesn't make any sense to build um, to go there with ships that that have no um, uh, with pops that have a penalty to energy um, production. If you want to make these only energy things, it's just stupid. System survey complete. I've got a construction ship and a terminal orbit. One of the many moons has a terminal orbit. It will soon collide. Special. Situation log oh, updated. right. Okay, let's let's go to there. Got that science ship right in orbit. So 
Let's go for this. Absorb the moon impact. Like right now. But you in the Rimdor system, you can actually go ahead and build a mining station to get that, uh, get those minerals. That's good. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder what happened there. I did not click on the robot. The private colony ship just automatically um, built something that I did not want at all. Let's go for the hydroponics farm on this. Yes, I'm gonna get rid of the minerals. It's fine. Construction ship over here. Can't do anything in there anymore, which is, I guess, good. Um, I think we're gonna start building an orbital habitat over there. So enter the orbit. Gotta get ready. Oh well, yeah, this is looking, this is looking real good. We'll be able to get rid of, um, of most of these outposts. And yeah, we're first gonna settle the nines and ten systems. Just makes sense. How far are you with the habitat? Halfway there. Okay. That's good. I'm just happy that we can build multiple of them um, at the same time. Come on. Now finish that finish that colony ship. Complete. I really want to see my, my habitat finished. Colonial bureaucracy is done. Good. And we can get another one. Actually, it's maybe not a bad idea to just go for this. Oh no, I want this. It's more influence from factions. Yes, it's very expensive, but it's going to help us since influence is going to be the main limiting factor at some point uh, in us building more and more habitats. Not the minerals, actually, even though you would think that. Construction complete. Um, System survey complete. Someone will guarantee their independence. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, oh yeah, we're done with our colony ship, which means I can finally start colonizing my first habitat. Come on. Colonize that planet, and you can see that we get a uh, different building uh, and different tiles with no resources on them, but that's fine. We're going to put you right in the middle. And now I have actually not thought about naming these in a proper way. Um, should have done that a while ago. Um, I'm going to think about that in between episodes, and then I'm going to give it a proper name. For now, it's just going to be Isia's 9-2 Habitat, <laughs> which is odd, but oh well. Let's go for it. Let's colonize that thing. That's what we're going to do in the next episode. We're going to build this thing up to be an energy-producing beast. Uh, we're also going to go colonize this planet and then slowly get rid of our frontier outposts to the point where we will have a very good influence income and can... Build more and more of those um, sweet, sweet um, orbital habitats. Looking forward to it. For now, though, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm having a lot of fun, and I hope it transfers into a good Let's Play episode. Hope you join me next time. Bye-bye.